COVID has decimated businesses and as a result, the cities in which we live. But there is a new concept that could change all that, the 15 minute city. But what is it? Let's get virtual. It's an idea that a university professor in Paris, Carlos Marino, came up with. The concept is pretty simple, to improve the quality of life for city dwellers by making them places where pretty much everything can be accessed in less than 15 minutes on foot or by bike. And it's something that Paris's mayor is already putting into action. Here's how it works. Imagine this is you in your house here. Everything you need is but 15 minutes away, hence the idea, but with four key important characteristics, proximity, diversity, density, and ubiquity. Meaning you can get to school, work, or places to swap, share, and reuse the things you don't need. Then the shops, but also there are green spaces to stretch out, followed by places to experience culture and engage with others. Plus, places where you can get medical treatment. You can travel to other destinations easily too, with spaces for you to play in and also sports and rec, and then of course, great places to eat, all within 15 minutes of where you live. And there's nothing like a global pandemic for us all to start realizing that we don't really know our neighbors and also to rediscover by walking how interesting the area we live in actually is. Many studies have been made showing the mental health and social impact of COVID on us all. And they point to how something like 15 minute cities could really help us all to be happier by being more connected to each other, recognizing each other as locals instead of being faceless members of a huge mega city. Oh, hey, how are you? I'm great, it's good to see you. You too, hey, what's your secret? Oh, I just smacked myself in the face with pretzels. Wow, you're incredibly weird. Yeah, I know, but it works. Of course, like any cool idea, there's always some challenges. How do you make sure that diversity happens? Mixing up cultures instead of ghettoizing and gentrifying, making the property affordable for all income levels. But that's always been an issue. And now Madrid, Milan, Seattle, Ottawa and Portland are all striving to make this inner city nirvana happen around the world. The future looks pretty exciting for this grand idea, and LA is already part of a global group dedicated to pushing this concept forward. But whatever you make of it, it's clear that COVID-19 didn't just make our lives worse, but helped us think outside the box for new and exciting ways to live better lives too.